What's up, silver art collectors and silver fans? This is Larry, son of Larry of the Silver Vikings, getting ready to finally pour our Trump Triop coin. See if I can get it here for the camera. Can you see that? Give me a thumbs up if you can see, if you know what that is in the comments. And this is a plastic uh, print pattern, of course. And uh, that's what we tried to, been trying to make a, a rubber mold and then pour wax uh, in that mold and just could never get all the air bubbles to my satisfaction out of the wax. And then decided to go back to the dental resin and uh, cause I had an idea on how we could do that. So I think in the shop, I have a high quality uh, got a dog that's barking. I have a high quality, not a high quality dog, but a high quality mold. We'll see. I think I finally got it and I'm just going to go ahead and cast it in silver. Uh, here's one of our very first um, castings we did back in 2020. Silver Vikings established 2020. This was the mask and this was a two, pour, uh, two piece graphite mold. Uh, this was actually a bad pour. That's why we never finished it. We finished most of them and um kind of an antique look uh very much of an antique look but uh, this one was not i thought uh still trying to get this figured out that i might cast this in copper but uh, my goal is to get this trump triumph coin cast before the election and here it is november the fourth i think i'm probably going to air this tomorrow on the fifth it's right of time so i'm going to go ahead and take what silver shot we have left and uh, measure it out. I'm going to use our good old COVID round, 2020 COVID round as a, a metric because I think it's a very similar weight. So uh, let's see if I can get the scale to come back on. It's 2.73 grams. Of course, that has this sprue, this feeder sprue and um so i'll probably just go ahead and round that up to three grams i want to get tear this out i want to get something that's very close to the actual size and just pour the whole load in i've got the mold right now in the furnace doing a bit of a preheat and that's in the shop we'll go check that out let's see what we get here using a Graphite mold as a carrier, little holder for the silver we're going to use. Pure silver, silver shot. There's, that's exactly three grams. I'm sorry, not grams, of course. Am I on grams? No, I'm on OZT. You can see right there. Ounce. Troy, OZT, Troy ounces, right at three ounces, not grams. Can't believe I said grams. Put just a little bit more. Don't want to waste that silver. But I don't want to be short either. All right, let's go to the shop and uh, check on it. First, I guess I'll show you this. This is from the 2022 series. This was just a copper actually it's a brass piece i think i had it what it is 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 easy pouring brass this is you can see the difference between copper and brass in color this is pure copper meant for mixing and jewelry um, i'm not going to use that tonight i'm going to use this silver here when i do a different metal besides uh, pure silver i'm always sure to use a different crucible the crucibles that we pour pure silver in are only for pure silver, not for anything else. I've gotten in the habit of also doing some other metals. I do aluminum. I've made some aluminum parts, sand casting parts, and um, just to use around the house and can be very handy. And uh, also use different crucibles for those parts. All right, let's go have a look.
Alright, here we are in the shop. Silver shop. And uh, I've never done much silver pouring from down low. I've almost always done it uh, from up on a high table. I'm going to try to do it from down low. Right now we just got the the mold in there just doing a little preheat getting it warmed up and uh i'm going to get it out and set it on these uh high temp uh refractory bricks but you know what i'm going to go get some more bricks from the garage i'll be right back all right we're going to fish this flask out of the furnace which is currently at uh let's see if we can see this here you see that probably not 600 degrees celsius um <clears throat> and then we'll have to go up and temp on the furnace of course got this steel wire made the fatal mistake last week of using a piece of soldering wire for some reason not not the type that you think silver solder wire i don't know what i was thinking i thought i was just grabbing a piece of wire and used it and of course it melted and went down into the mold we'll set this mold on the graphite and i tell you the idea behind that is what we're we've always experienced uh if you spill some and it lands on this brick concrete it's so hot it can actually ruin parts of the concrete but um if you spill it on the graphite it'll freeze instantly it'll if not it'll kind of embed in the the brick and it becomes contaminated but if it just lands on the graphite and it chills on the graphite then it could maybe survive i just want to walk through this process it's gonna be like this yeah okay i think that'll work this one is clean and good for graphite but I, or good for silver, pure silver. I don't know if it'll fit in this particular furnace though. It wants to go in. So we're gonna be we're gonna be using the big one whether we want to or not. And it's clean of course. Try to be careful with them, they are delicate. All right, we want to raise this set point up. All the way. You hear the Crypto miners in the background. Do a little more setup and I'll be back. All right, welcome back. This is going to take a little while. We're only at 554 degrees. And I'd like to get to at least 1,050 more Celsius. So I'm just going to think about this and practice. I'll come here, lift, pick, go with two hands over, pour. If I was good, I would do it with one hand and have the other torch in the other hand. And warm this up. Nice and blue. And here, 
lift, grab, ascend. Over here it'll be glowing hot. There. All the way in. These will be done. Put them back, close the lid. Nothing to do now but to wait. Six hundred degrees Celsius. All right, it's Monday night, the night before the election. We got Monday night football going on. Last I checked, I was up just by a little bit in my fantasy football league for tonight, this week's game. Week nine, I think. We got a big election that's been going on. <laughs> Voting has been going on for a while. And uh, I hope all of you voted. And then uh, all of you who didn't want to vote, didn't vote. I hope no one was forced to vote. Let me say that. Of fine silver. We did spill a little bit, but it landed on the graphite just as we planned. Of course, this is not a graphite mold, so it doesn't freeze like it does when you pour in graphite. That mold, that plaster mold is hot. I just realized I forgot to have a bucket of water sitting next to it. That's what happens when you don't do it very often. But it looks like besides what I spilled, 
I nailed the volume pretty good. Let me go get that bucket of Just kind of fizzed and make those spikes. I wish that I got it. I just hit stop on the video. Still glowing a little bit. All right. Sizable bucket of water. Took only a couple minutes uh, or a minute or two. That means this flask is still quite hot. I don't want to come out. <laughs> All right, back to the garage. It's always rough when it comes right out of the mold, out of the the casting, dental casting. I had a little bit of trouble with the mold, getting the burnout just right, and I tried blowing it out with an air gun, and that may have been a mistake. Okay, let's see. 2.9 ounces. 2.91, a little bit of junk on it. We're gonna clean it up. Let's see what we get. Clean it up, clean it up. tough on it.
mess. Two different grooves going now. That's what I get for trying to watch the camera at the same time. almost I'll sweep this up this is called floor sweep you get enough of it you can refine it as floor sweep artist floor sweep sound you've discovered. That's too fun. It's wet or dry, so you always use wet or dry wet. Always.
the high spots. Put that 1,000. Just a touch. Still haven't got it totally cleaned yet. get a power pack to run the camera so I'm back in the meantime uh, did some hammered edges hammered around the edges and um, obviously did some antiquing little what is it liver of sulfur of liver or whatever it smells awful and now it's ready to rise from the ashes like a phoenix in a hail of bullets the courageous cloud of hoorah surrounding it. First, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is hit the high spots. Just bring out a little luster on the the very highest points. Kind of that traditional classic silver Vikings look. And then we'll get to polishing. That'll help bring out some of the features. Not too much of that, obviously. But we will have lost all of July. flag how classic is that image how iconic is that image really a lot of the images that have came out of the Trump campaign this go around we got McDonald's we got Trump in a fire truck but nothing compares to that moment after being shot in the head, the ear, which is part of the head, rises up and implores his supporters to fight, fight, fight. I honestly thought that he didn't know if he was going to make it or not. He kind of felt that way. Such an amazing moment in American history. Yeah, V for Vikings. The silver Vikings. And because this is a cast piece, we don't get our ripples. Ha ha ha. Contraire, we do get ripples. Engineered by the Vikings themselves. What a great greenish color we're getting on this piece. All depends on how long you leave it in that silver, what is it, sulfur, liver of sulfur.
I love that hammered edge look. I'm supposed to say fight, fight, fight around the edge. <laughs> and that didn't come out. I think that was partly the blame for when I used the compressed air to blow out the inside of the mold. I'm thinking, y'all, that I need a different burnout resin for the printer. Stuff I have from any cubics not quite good enough. There's other types. I don't have to use any cubic photopolymer. I could use somebody else's. All right. Now let's do a little bit of a little bit of silver polishing with the the Goddard's the Goddard's silver polish. Thank you. 